Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and welcome back to Windhelm, home of Jarl Ufrik and his Stormcloaks. Cold, harsh, racist, plain and above all, boring. Arguably the most boring city in Skyrim. But you can change that and I'm going to show you how. Well, with mods obviously. But which one? Keep watching to see which Windhelm overhaul may suit your needs. Before I continue, let me tell you that I've done all comparison shots with the Somber 3 ENB, which makes the game look a little bit warmer and nicer already. With this ENB on, Windhelm looks less bleak, but you will no doubt see the difference between the mods. At first I wanted to make just a mod review about JK's Windhelm. But then I searched the Nexus for some more overhauls and decided to make a comparison video instead. JK's Windhelm by JK Rojmal was released yesterday and is not well known yet at least, so I decided to shoot some extra footage. The mod author previously overhauled Whiterun and decided to take on Windhelm next. A wise decision. In this mod you can find for example a new alley in Windhelm. And inside the alley you can find some reds. They will attack you on sight and cause a small uproar in the market. Pretty funny. The market itself also got a big overhaul. It looks nice, it feels crowded, but as you can imagine it takes quite a hit on performance. I dropped 10 to 15 frames usually around the market. Also the statue of Talos is a really nice feature. The grey quarter was left largely untouched I think. According to the mod author, JK's Windhelm is partially compatible with Dawn of Windhelm, which will be covered later on. I refrain from using multiple mods at once because it's usually a bad idea to run two overhauls at the same time. You will see what Dawn of Windhelm looks like later on though. Up next is Sexy Windhelm 2 by Horrorview. Nothing is horrendous about Sexy Windhelm 2. In fact, it's actually the mod that gives the cleanest Windhelm possible. The walls are a lot brighter, cleaner, more edgy and they remind me of ancient Rome. I'm not that old but the way it's usually displayed in movies. With their white mansions and such. Windhelm certainly looks more colorful with this one. Although the amount of clutter and trees are kept to a minimum. It's got more flair to it and looks as proud as Ulfric himself. I'm not sure what is so sexy about it, but sex sells, I guess. Not only the city itself, but also the outer walls are affected. Last but not least, also the interior of Windhelm got an overhaul, which is something most mods that I discussed today haven't done. The inn and the palace of the kings look kind of sexy, I suppose. Before we continue with the city of Windhelm, let's take a look at its exterior. Because there are also mods available which overhaul Windhelm's exterior and bridge. Let's start with a simple one. Windhelm Bridge by Mika999. It makes a minor adjustment to the bridge to make it look more epic, according to the mod author. I think he succeeded, although the changes are relatively small. Next mod is another bridge overhaul called Windhelm Bridge Overhaul by BJS336. I wonder how he came up with that mod title. Windhelm Bridge Overhaul takes matters a bit more seriously though because the mod author put a market on the bridge. That's a really nice feature but killing for your frame rate. I didn't get above 20 frames per second when recording this footage. 
There is however also a version of the mod available which doesn't have the marker. But then again, what's the point, right? So install this only if you got a really powerful PC. You can find my PC specs in the About tab of my YouTube page, to give you an idea what will not run this mod properly. The last mod that changes the Windhelm exterior is Windhelm Exterior Alter, also by BJS336. It makes more pretty big changes to the exterior of Windhelm, and while these changes are very impressive and look very good, you will need a powerful PC to run this. Well, if you're also using an EMB of course, but you get the idea. The mod is beautiful, but your frame rate will take a hit. Back to the city itself. We've got a couple of more mods to go, bear with me. This is Dawn of Windhelm by Blue Piano 2. Dawn of Windhelm is one of my favorite Windhelm overhauls. It leaves the city largely intact and adds some clutter, banners, market stalls and trees. I really like what the mod author has done to the Palace of Kings. Those statues look awesome. Throughout the city you will find lanterns, giving the bully Dunmer a place to call their own. The game won't change their attitude towards them, but the city is a lot friendlier now and it reminds me of Solstheim and Morrowind. The Grey Quarter is actually quite pleasing to the eye now, and less of a dump. With this mod installed I don't feel so bad for those dark elves. We got two mods to go. This one is Towns and Villages Enhanced by Apple Stormy. It could very well be the most detailed Windhelm overhaul out there. It supposedly adds over a thousand items to the city and some of those items you can see in the screenshots. For example, the mods adds a few barrels here and there. It also adds quite a lot of trees without making the place look like a forest. Here you can see the mod adds a few icicles. It also adds a lot of small details that you might really appreciate. Last but not least is the least subtle Windhelm overhaul I could find called Windhelm Industrialized by Couriers Gambit. With only 200 endorsements this mod is really not as popular as it should be and this might very well be my favorite Windhelm overhaul. This mod is just so original and adds a completely different atmosphere to Windhelm. This is what an overhaul should do in my opinion. So as you can see the whole city has been Dwemerized there are chimneys everywhere with smoke coming out of them. You can see dwarven devices on a wall and a feature that is really awesome are the blue lamps which can be found throughout the city. Truly well done. You can also get income from the factories and some NPCs will provide background information. This review has been pretty lengthy but I wanted to do these overhauls some justice. So if you like any of these mods please download and endorse them. It also allowed me to play around with Mod Organizer, which is working pretty well now, thanks to Gopher, which you will all know, and also thanks to Gamer Poets, whose channel is worth checking out. That's it for today, I do hope you liked this review because I spent many hours making this episode. If you did, please like the video, I like likes. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Finally, I am also on Twitter, tweeting random stuff. 
Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.